The next one is data retention policy. Document control page with document ID. Reviewers, approvers, uh, related documents. Confidentiality statement, table of contents. Now, objective of this policy. So, we have data and we need uh, its retention time. Example, we have an employee joining and an uh, employee leaves the organization now. Now, once an employee leaves any organization, how long you can keep the employee's data? Example, employee's data, like uh, we might have collected employee passport details, any uh, other identification details, then the, these uh, documents, we need to keep a track of it once an employee leaves the organization as well. So how long we are keeping? Single, we, we are keeping it for 10 years. We are keeping it for five years. So these things we need to define as a data retention policy. So the objective of this document is to govern data retention and security of the com company data. As part company interest, contractual requirement, as well as the regulatory laws, okay? Now, our roles and responsibilities are similar for all and scope. This applies to all employees, specifically employees and contractors, as well as vendors. Now, data retention. So, basically, it is defined by the clients for different projects, okay? Now, once you have any client uh, and the client is saying, okay, we need a data retention for, uh, let's say we have a production database. And once the data is deleted by, uh, by any of the customer, so we have to delete, if, uh, delete it only from, uh, from database, we need to archive it. And the archival data, we need to keep it for example, 90 days or six months. So this depends on client. Um, and also we need to align with regulatory laws. So as we are dealing with Malaysian based entity, so if uh, this uh, country reg regulatory law says, okay, you need to keep it for 60 days, then minimum we have to maintain it for 60 days. Now our solution by default keeps data online for two years, archival five additional years, and the logs are maintained for three months. So this depends on the solution provided by company to company, okay? You need to change this uh, depending on your company products. Changes may be uh, made to this retention period at a request from customer. And this depends on regulatory requirements. These are some of the data. So if we have application or system logs, so we keep it for one year. That's our retention time. If it is database archives, we keep it for one year. So similarly, if it's an employee records, so how long you keep the employee record after employee leaves the company, it's for 10 years. Now company financial records for tax audit purpose, we keep it for 10 years. CCTV footage, this is, in, uh, this is important. So CCTV footage, if there is any incident, how long we are keeping the CCTV footage? So example, we keep it for minimum 90 days. Emails and other communication for five years. Uh, SIM logs, uh, we keep it for five years. And other project documents. So once a customer contract has ended, then how long we are keeping the customer documents? So it's for 10 years. Now, this is important note. The actual retention time depends on project contracts and also regulatory laws. Now, data shredding procedure. So once you decided, okay, uh, we want to, uh, it's done, the retention time is done. So we want to uh, shred the data. So we have some kind of uh, shredding procedure here. So scripts to shred. So fresh, a shredding script is run uh, against a client in which data needs to be removed. So we may have a shredding script uh, it runs automatically as a housekeeping job, okay? So this automated backup, auto backup files roll back in 35 days. So this, uh, the number we can define on project contract, okay? And after 35 days, the manual snapshots are deleted.
Also, uh, after 35 days, the service now take it. We are using example service now uh, for as a ticket management tool. So we keep it in progress once we have started working on any of the shredding process. And once it is done, uh, it keeps uh, after 35 days, it is uh, sent marked for review and sent back to the support team to uh, verify hey, it's deleted or not, okay? Now this is a data shredding procedure. So if you want to delete any data, first uh, they raise a ticket. The, the team will raise, a will, will raise a ticket, okay, we need to delete this data. And now it will start working on that ticket, depending on the criticality of the data, okay? <coughs> now, employee training and awareness. Other, other stuff are generic to all policies. Escalation metrics, policy exception, reviews and updates, and conclusion. Uh, so that's it. So that's on to data retention policy. If you have any app and if you have any kind of feedbacks on this document, then kindly comment below and follow these pages. Thank you.